Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2008 BMW 535XI. This one is finished off in a space gray exterior, which is probably one of my favorite BMW colors, and it just looks fantastic on here. Along the side you do have your body colored mirrors, as well as body colored door handles, and some chrome accenting around the windows. On the rear of this vehicle, you have your rear backup sensors down below, dual tipped exhaust, and right here is your 535XI badge. So this is an all-wheel drive wagon as well. You have your LED tail lights. On the passenger side is your fuel cap. Typical German car fashion. Make sure it's unlocked. Walk up and open. Up top, you do have your roof rails right there, as well as your radio antenna and panoramic roof. And down below, this one is riding on Goodyear Assurance tires. They are... 22550R17s, so you do have 17 inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes of course, and I really do have to say I am jealous of whoever buys this. This is just such a nice, fun, great shape wagon. Do you have your turn signal indicators as well as reflectors below, and up front projector headlights and your fog lights. Like I said, it does have front as well as rear parking sensors. So we'll get in this one. It does come with your typical BMW key fob with lock, unlock, and your trunk release. And inside, this one does have the great Dakota leather interior, which is in great shape inside of here. You get the very nice light wood grain accenting as well. BMW door sills, and this one also does include your original BMW floor mats. The all weather ones, of course. To start, all you have to do, foot on the brake, insert the key right here, and push to start. Inside of this 535i, you get a very nice leather wrapped steering wheel right here with your audio system as well as navigation controls on the wheel, cruise control down below, and the steering in this vehicle is very, very sharp and responsive. Around here, you do have all your nice padded material up top on the door, wood grain around here, and some stitched padded leather around down here. Also your uh, door release right here, door handle with its very nice chrome accenting. All four of your automatic windows, power locks, power mirrors, all of that down here. More storage down here. Headlight controls, as well as your rear fogs. You do have your uh, hood as well as trunk release down below. On the dash itself, it's all soft touch material like you'd expect. You can see your speedometer, as well as tachometer and center display right there. Like I said on the dashboard itself, you do get this very nice light wood grain, which just looks great. This vehicle too also does only have 93,000 miles on it. And the center right here, you have your kind of split screen display, your navigation on one side, and then your radio, climate, or whatever you pull up on this side. I promise it's not as dark as person, it's just the camera really has a hard time focusing on it. But you can go through from down here, and you can go to your main menu. Go through communication, climate, navigation, all of that. Very nice and easy to use. This one is equipped with navigation. You also do have an excellent stereo in here. AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in, and USB, as well as satellite radio. Down here, dual zone, automatic climate control, nice and simple to use. Everything is in the center. Do have all of your radio controls down here, AM, FM, mode, everything else. Like I said, it does have satellite radio. Your ashtray down here. And I promise it's not, um, I know the wood almost looks greenish. It's, it just has a tint strip right here, and it's just the angle the sun is coming through with the camera. It looks greenish, but I promise it's not like that in person. You have your DTC on and off, parking sensors on and off, heated seats. And like I said, an ashtray and cigarette lighter right here, which this one is a non-smoker. You have some storage below that. And right here is the shifter for your six-speed automatic. Down for drive, over for manual and sport mode. Up one's for neutral, all the way up for reverse, which like I said, this one does have front as well as rear parking sensors. And then push for park. You have your iDrive controls right here, parking brake as well. Inside of this, you do have some storage inside of this compartment, and then you can lift it up, and you do have your USB, auxiliary, and iPod down below. Seats in this vehicle are so comfortable. I mean, they're just bolstered very well. It's a high quality leather and everything in here is in great shape as well. All of your power controls for the seat are on the side down here. Auto dimming rear view mirror, interior lighting controls in the center and you can see your nice high quality headliner as well. And then right here, just go ahead, send that back. And like I said, this one is equipped with the beautiful panoramic roof. 
just like that. So we'll go ahead, make sure all of the doors in this one are unlocked. Driver's side window down, and pop the hood. In the back seat of this 535i, stepping in, as you can see on the door, all the material qualities follow through up top with the padded material, your wood grain, and then padded stitched leather down here. The back seat itself is in excellent shape. And once you're inside, there's an excellent amount of room. I'm 6'2", and this seat's where I would sit, and there's still plenty of room back here. The seat itself is very, very comfortable as well. You do have your air vents right here in the center for the rear passengers. Two power outlets as well and storage on the back of each seat. And like I said, it does include the all others for the rear too. You can see that beautiful panoramic roof up above. I mean, this car really just is in great shape. You also do even get ashtrays for the rear passengers. Now in the rear, not only is the trunk on this vehicle power, but watch the cargo cover as well. That will also power raise up when you release it. Just push right here. Very nice design. And inside you do have all four of your original carpeted floor mats. Um, some storage down below here. And then different compartments on the sides. Things like that right here. Behind there. Storage nets and everything else. And you can see even with the seats folded up, there is still a fantastic amount of space. Your first aid kit on this side as well. And then to bring it back down, just press right here. And as you can see, the cover will come back. So will the trunk lid. Passenger side, once again, everything follows through over here. You can fold the seat, just drop it like that. And it is split folding, but it will create a flat loading floor. Passenger side, everything follows through. You do have your uh, seat memory down below as well. Cup holders built into the dashboard right there. And down below, this one does include all of your original owner's literature and everything of that nature inside of this leather wallet right here. Glove box itself is also very nice and felt lined. And up front, you can see the projector HID headlights. And under the hood of this 535i, this one is equipped with BMW's twin turbo, three liter straight six engine, running very nice. And it's an excellent amount of power for this vehicle as well, especially with the all wheel drive. You have nothing to worry about with this wagon. And everything under here is running great and in excellent shape. Just a great sound to it. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Just cut it off. Steering wheel will power tilt up. And then you can just remove the key right here. Put the headlights back in automatic mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, Please let Volvo Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.